So this is going to be a pretty quick video, just going over the best way to get Sukuna Fingers in this new update. There's two methods that I'm going to be showing. The first of which is to come into your inventory and take off all farm units, all stuff like that. Just bring purely mythic units, just all damage dealing, uh, just any of your, like all of your best units. Basically it, just bring all of them. And I'll show you basically the entire plan right here. So you're gonna come in here, you're gonna go to Shibuya Station, load up infinite mode, just like normal. And then what I would recommend is right once you get in, do not move at all. Don't touch your keyboard at all. The only thing you need to do is zoom out. And then what you're gonna wanna do, go ahead and click boat start and just sort of spam all your units all around. Just place them wherever you want. I spawned in a bad spot. Usually you spawn like right around here. This is probably the best spot to spawn, but spam all your units all around. And then once you get all of them down, and this is only the first method, by the way, you don't have to do this. This is just the first option. Once you get all of these units down, then, you know, you, you make sure that when you're playing and you're, uh, you're making sure you're, you're clicking everything the right way, you're going to first come right here and you're going to click around this area because this is where the retry button is. So you're going to click right around here, not macroing, and then you're going to come up here and you're going to click the vote start where it would be, which is around here-ish. It's around here. You're just going to click around there and make sure that it has that stuff registered. And then you're going to go through to where you placed all of your stuff or just, just get enough money to place all of them down. And you're just going to spam click and place just everything, all your units, all of it. And then once you've got all of that done, you're going to end playing it. And then you're going to put on continuous playback and you're going to start it. And then the other option, the second option, which is honestly probably easier. It takes a lot less time to set this up is to take two units. And in this case, I'm just going to use Vegeta. I'm going to use Chain. You're going to take them and you're going to place them down to where you can reach them. And then I'm going to make sure just because I'm using Vegeta that this Chain is not in his range. You can use whatever units you want, by the way. It's just whatever your best units are, uh, whatever can solo these bosses. And you're going to make sure that you have them down. And then you're going to go through to each one and just spam upgrade on all of them. Every single one. And you could either do this out here, like go to each individual one like I'm doing. Or you can come over here to the manage units button and you can do it from here. Either clicking on, uh, on them like this or just from going straight from this button. It's just whatever you find easier, whatever's easier for you. And then once again, you're going to make sure you're going to the replay button and then you're going to be clicking and then you're going to be going to the vote start button and you're going to be going right around there. All right. Just make sure you're clicking all of that. So that way all of your inputs are a hundred percent registered and it can't mess anything up. And basically while you're actually playing the game, uh, while you're, you know, out doing whatever else you want to do, whether it's sleeping, because a lot of people do this at night and they get a lot of stuff. Um, and then say you're just, you're, you're at work or you're at school or, you know, doing whatever it is you have to do. You can be getting a ton of Sukuna fingers this way. Just make sure that whichever method you do, you're able to kill the bosses. That is the most important thing. You're able to kill the bosses and you're able to solo these waves. You don't need to go very long and you don't need to worry about Mahito. At some point, it is going to end. But guess what? It's just going to reboot it back up and you're going to be going right back at it and you're going to be getting more chances for Sukuna bosses. Not only that, but you're going to be flying through all these waves and you're going to be getting a bunch of gems while you're at it. It's basically just the same thing that you've been doing for the past 
month, over a month since the game released. Um, because this is the easiest way to do it. I know the devs said that they were going to try and uh, get rid of it in a way. They did not. They didn't do anything really to uh, sort of combat this issue. And I don't think they will. They said that they would, but they probably won't. And actually, they kind of made it worse. Because if you don't know, they made it harder for Sukuna to spawn throughout infinite mode they made him a, a rarer boss spawn for whatever reason um which now means that there is even more of an incentive to play the game uh and yeah either way that's all for this video that's pretty much the end like and subscribe um if there's anything else you all want me to cover let me know in the comment section below. If you want to hate on me, put it in the comments. If you hated the video, dislike it. I don't care. Just do something. Do whatever you want to do. Use this information how you want to use it. And remember, you're not macroing because they said no. That's it. All right. Have a good day. I'll see you all in the next video.